right? Uh, let's look at this. Uh, question number seven. Zanoku lays a plan to take the family during December holidays to Robin Island. Zanoku lives in Pretoria and her family lives in Deben. She's going to drive to from Pretoria to Deben and they will have they will have to take a flight from Deben to Cape Town. The next year B shows shows the roadmap of South Africa. All right, then we should, we're going to use the next year to answer the question. This is the next year here. All right. Yes, it has. It shows the roads. The measurements are not supposed to be there. All right. Uh, we shall continue, and we shall see. We measure the distance between Pretoria and the Durban. Measure the distance between Pretoria and Durban. So you measure the distance between Pretoria and Durban and you take this stretch distance here. Probably you may get, uh, let's say this is around 31. That one millimeters. You come and measure from here up to there, you also get, let's say around, you've measured the distance between these two. Any millimeters, you maybe you get a, uh, 15, 15 millimeters. So you have a measurement, the distance between the places and the distance between for the scale. So here you will come and say, the scale that you've just measured, this one here, 15 millimeters, are equivalent to 300 kilometers. So we shall come here and say, millimeters they give me 300 kilometers what about if i have the 300 you see 310 300 and the uh, let's take it to be that one sorry not 310 that, that one so here we shall say what about if I have 31 millimeters? What will it give me in real life? So the on top here, this was a scale. But this is the distance you've measured on the map between the two places, between Pretoria and Durban. All right, so now if it's like this, what do we do? We cross multiply, which means 300 times the 31 will equal to 15 Q divide through by 15 divide through by 15 this 15 goes with that 100 times 31 you get 9000 9300 these are these are the values that we have so we divide through by 15 so becomes 620 kilometers 620 kilometers so this is this is between Pretoria and Debe according to our measurements please you measure and you find out the answer all right Samakus so will travel from Pretoria to Debe via Harry Smith write down the detailed set of directions to show Samokuthe's trip. Now, set of directions. Here we expect you to mention the road they are going to use, the direction they are going to use. For example, we are here on this map here. They are traveling from Pretoria to Deben using Harry Smith Road. So what I expect you to do for me, one, you are from Pretoria, what do you do? You come up to Johannesburg using what? N1. So in your description, you write, Use, use N1 from Pretoria 
to Johannesburg. Then, remember now you're in Johannesburg. Then from Johannesburg, you need to use N3 up to Harris Mill. Mind you, you mentioned that. Then use, use N3 from Johannesburg to Harry Smith. So you see that? Then do you stop at that? No, you're going to depend. Then using N3 to continue up to Peter Malzberg. You can say through Peter Malzberg to Deben. I'm sorry for using shortcut, uh, short names, but I wanted to fit. And, and so you mentioned the roads that you're using and the places that you are passing. The road from where to where, you mentioned that, and where is it taking you? All right, let's continue. The uh, Zanokulhe was driving at an average speed of 90 kilometers. She left her place at 5 a.m. She decided to take 30 minutes. She doesn't take 30 minutes relaxing break at Hell Smith. She claims that she is going to arrive in Deben at exactly 19.56. Use the information given and verify whether the, her claim is correct. You may use the formula speed equals to distance over time. Or speed equals to distance divided by time. So here we go. Number one, we need to know she has been traveling at this distance here to Harry Smith. This is the first thing that you're going to do. You understand? So we need to know at what time does she reach Harry Smith. But before we find the time, because time, if you are to find time, we shall need distance divided by speed. You see? By the way, you can also do it this other way around. <coughs> you, because the distance from Pretoria to Deben is this much. So we can find out how much time will she spend. So she has to spend, but the distance is this much. She has been driving at 90. What time is it? Total time spent. Okay, two divided by 90. Uh, we see it as 6,89. These are hours. Change them to change change them to minutes. Hours and minutes. So we do that. We divide by sorry. These are six hours. Uh, six hours and the. Uh, Six hours. Six hours. Fifty-three minutes. How did I get this? I took this six. These are hours. Then we remain with zero comma eight nine. Multiply this by sixty because I want it to become minutes. When I multiply it by sixty. becomes 53,4, just take 53. So this is the time she has spent. But remember, she's going to take 30 minutes break. So we add on the 30 minutes. So in other words, this is, uh, she will spend around, because this is, uh, this is three, this is eight. Eight, we need only, 60 to make it so this the two remains here so she has spent seven hours 23 minutes so now if she left at 5 p.m 
7 hours plus 23. What do you end up having? This is what? 12, 23. So it won't be the time. So it's not valid, isn't it? It's invalid. If, okay, 7.8, if a plane can fly at a minimum average speed of 700, 740 kilometers per hour, and the distance between Durban and Cape Town is approximately 1,700 kilometers, determine the time taken by the flight, sorry, time taken to fly from Durban to Cape Town. You may use the formula below, time taken. So we are saying time equals to distance over speed the distance given to us is that much over the speed of 700 right? volt so you see you get the answers two comma two nine seven which is approximately two comma these are hours so what are you going to do these are two full hours plus the 0, 0,3 0 times 60. Why? Because I want this to become minutes. So this will become two hours and 18 minutes. So that's the time they are going to spend. That's the time they are going to spend. Determine the probability as a percentage of finding an airport at George. Let's go to the graph. George is here. This is George, and indeed there's an airport there. So the as a percentage, this becomes a hundred percent, which is what we say what possible. Eh? The answer is what possible. If you don't say possible, you can say it's what certain. Sure, it's a hundred percent.